Dubai looms large in the imagination of every traveler. The small emirate has become known for doing everything bigger and wilder, even when nature says otherwise. Notwithstanding the impressive growth of modern Dubai, it's also getting old. And how can we upgrade the historical part with innovation? I'm traveling around the world to visit a league of ambitious new engineering wonders and find out the extraordinary building challenges. Long time and the intelligence given to those giants. Well, I'm so excited. <laughs> My eyes move from the modern world-class skyline to this more traditional Arabian wine, characterized by the distinctive wind towers called Bajirs, the souk, and the mosque. Dubai Creek, a natural seawater inlet of Arabian Gulf, has witnessed the establishment of the city's commercial position in the old days, and a modern skyline moving away from it. but here the soul of Dubai remains. Hundreds of bows continues to moor and unload goods according to a century-old tradition. Abras are still used as to ferry passengers back and forth between Dara, Shindaga, and Bur Dubai. Modern Dubai was born here and is trying to keep its past. This now, it is starting to be developed so a lot of new building, it is already built here. At that time, new corridor built for this area, so which is a Shandaga corridor. This new six-lane road was designed to ease the overcrowding in the old town, but it wouldn't rise from the empty desert like other parts of the city. Most important that do the project, and this big challenge, because we have to do the project, we have not to affect the residents, we have to manage doing our work and they have to do their work. It was Libor's job to find a way to finish this mission impossible. In traditional bridge construction, workers build a mold from wooden panels and fill it with concrete. That requires scaffolding from the ground as the working platform. For the Shindaga Corridor this long, that would stop the ground traffic for years. Instead, the engineers decided to cut the bridge first into 2,000 pieces. Away from the city center, the massive bridge was actually produced here, cutting construction time and keeping the site clean. They look like cars on the assembly line, but engineers precisely control their differences. 要保证每一个它的 Dubai, it's about to see a bridge built piece by piece. But what's more amazing is the machine that puts those pieces together. This monster is called the launching gantry. It is used to lift bridge segments as they're placed and supported by the bridge piers instead of the ground.
It's showtime. Engineers installed a sliding beam on a pier segment, which allows this monster to move freely. The machine has the main truss for lifting in a rear and front sanctions to keep the balance. It will lift bridge sanctions systematically at both ends of the pier, using the specially designed glue to attach them. 环氧树脂胶首先它要发挥作用，但是这个胶是不足以去抵抗悬臂端它的自重的，所以需要在顶上设置好几道顶板的运力，去抵抗悬臂端它自重。If you had braces, you know what they're doing. Remember the thin wire that runs through brackets that are attached to your teeth? Engineers are pulling these box girders together by tightening the cables. Just like an orthodontist adjusts the arc wire to apply force on your teeth. With a strong cantilever, the remaining segments will be lifted up in the middle span. Each box girder is hollow, which reduces weight dramatically. But a spanning concrete roadway this long is still problematic. Gravity will make the bridge bow under pressure, stretching the concrete past endurance. 因为混凝土特性其实是一个受抗压不抗拉的结构，所以混凝土我们需要保持它一直在一个抗压的状态里面，然后发挥它这个结构物的功效。The team is going to apply technology called post tensioning. High strength cable has been threaded through the concrete that will help limit deflection. Hydraulic jacks supply massive tension to pull apart and anchor the cable in place. 然后让整座整跨桥梁是会在中间部分一个上拱的状态，然后在成桥之后，那么它就会回到平顺的线型。Technology opens new gates for upgrading the old city. Huge machines and builders complete the bridge in mid-air, while life on the ground goes on as usual. And I think we success in our project, this China State success in the project, not to affect. People. We have good feedback from all the surrounding uh, communities. 未来，我觉得这种预制建造一定是一个建造业的趋势方向。不管是从环保，然后对当地的保护影响，以及越来越多的城市发展来说，在一个完全就空白的情况下去建造是越来越少了。